I am going to jump ahead. Uh, we're going to go to 2011 for my first choice. And my, uh, my initial pick for Sports in the Stands is Moneyball. Mm. Moneyball, yeah. So back of the box, just to get it out of the way. This is the story of the Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean's successful attempt to put together a baseball team on a budget by employing computer-generated analysis to construct his roster. So when we decided on this team, I think I mentioned I, I, I was struggling a little bit to come up with off the top of my head mm. movies that would fit. But Moneyball immediately came to mind. I There is a 10-minute segment of this movie where we're following the athletics as they're on their incredible run of, of, of wins uh, the season that this movie focuses on. And that's really the only, the only time that we get to see the team on the field. We get, you know, we feel like we're following games. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, you're in the clubhouse, you're in the front office, you're in uh, you're at the dining room table. As, uh, as In fact, Billy Bean makes it a point not to watch the game, right. which kind of like – that that's the the line of demarcation. That's here. what this is about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I I'm I'm a huge fan of this this movie. But it, before it was a movie, it was a book. It was uh, based on the Michael. It's a great book. Yeah, great book. Based on a book by the same name by, by Michael Lewis. I assume a lot of us have seen Moneyball. But in case you haven't, this was directed by Bennett Miller. It stars Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill. You get a fantastic Philip Seymour Hoffman, young Chris Pratt. Spike Jones is also here for like a phenomenal five minutes. What is, uh, who's he in the movie? He plays Robin Wright's new husband. Uh, Robin Wright yeah, is yeah. Brad Pitt's ex-wife. Uh, so he's there for just a couple yeah. minutes, but <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking terrific. So why did I choose this? There's a scene in the film where Jonah Hill asks Brad Pitt, how can you not be romantic about baseball? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that quote really kind of encapsulates what the experience of watching Moneyball is all about. It's a celebration of, of the game. Um, but you got a lot of role players here who are, in my opinion, delivering peak performances. I think this is probably top three Brad Pitt, top three Jonah Hill. Um, Aaron Sorkin's script is tremendous. Philip Seymour Hoffman is, yeah. again, phenomenal. I, like I said, I think this is Bennett Miller's best film. This movie is not a comedy, but it's really fucking oh, funny. Oh, it is. It's hilarious. It is. You know, Aaron Sorkin is the type of guy where it, it the needle can – very quickly move too far and you just don't buy it and was they, there was there a co-writer on this or is it just him i think there was was it maybe steve zalian uh, yeah it, that sounds right yeah i think because you can kind of tell that like the sorkinisms are kind of like sanded down a little bit mm -hmm. it's not quite as a, as sharp which generally in a lot of those movies that's what you're looking for but i think in this case it really like it really serves the the movie that it's not as sharp as and sorkiny as a lot of his stuff is yeah, I, I agree. He needs somebody to rein him in a little bit so that it's not as overwritten as some of Sorkin's stuff is. But it is it really is a funny movie. And, and you get Jonah Hill in probably his most dramatic role yet, but he's still hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's in a really restrained uh, part, which yes. – it, and man, Brad Pitt – Brad Pitt's funny. Brad Pitt yeah. throws a lot of furniture in this. <laughs> yeah, it's funny in like it's funny in like an office way. It's like, it is. It's funny because it's like this is we're not supposed to be acting this way here yeah. at work or whatever. There's a scene where Brad Pitt eats an entire Twinkie in one bite, and it's it, it's right. not played for laughs, but it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, there's just some other really interesting details here. There's a head scout in the movie who Billy Bean butts heads with, and. Um, and that guy, the guy who plays that part, he was a real baseball player who in real life and to this day believes that Billy Bean ruined baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so they found that guy. <laughs> and, well, actually, I got to say, this movie, not well, not this movie and not even necessarily the book, but the Moneyball ethos did kind of – in a way, ruin baseball and then sports. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> like I, I don't sports. disagree. I don't disagree. Um, I, once, once sports executives figured out that athletic competition could be, could be quantified in the way that you could quantify, like, inventory at a warehouse or something, yes. uh, the efficiency principle just kind of took over everything. And so, like, Moneyball, when, it, when the book was written, Moneyball was the system that the A's, Billy Bean, used to find inefficiencies. Yes. Like these are the things that everybody's doing that they're doing wrong. And so we can spend money in a smarter way 
and in order that in order to get more wins uh, for less money because we don't have as much money and so we have to find a way to do that. But then once everybody figured that out, yeah, it the whole system like everyone's using the same playbook and so now this the whole system is 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 built around efficiency and now it's just more efficient at being unfair. Well, it's no longer a tool for small market teams to compete against right. the Yankees and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Everybody, like you said, everybody's doing it. I think it makes this movie more interesting to watch now than even when it came out in 11 and especially when it was, uh, you know, during the, the period that it was capturing when EAs were on that run because, yeah, to look back on this, it, it it's clearly depicting a moment in time before this took over professional sports yeah. and uh it's interesting to see why it happened and yeah. clearly this played a, the a's the story of the a's played a huge role so absolutely he he hit a home run and didn't know it yeah <laughs> it's indeed 